flat Susie goes to the Congo Kingdom. Are you ready? I'm going to go all the way from Ohio to the Congo Kingdom. I just can't wait to go back into history. The kingdom started long ago in the 1300s. It expanded over 350 miles north to south near the Atlantic Ocean and spread east as far as the Guanga River on the continent of Africa. The Zaire River formed the border to the north as well. They probably liked the easy access to water to help them find food, water, and trading resources. The Congolese people produced and grew crops such as bananas, urina, coffee, cocoa, palm oil, kasua, corn, sweet potatoes, peanuts, beans, and taro. They traded these crops with the European countries, like the Portuguese, by utilizing their easy access to the Atlantic Ocean. In addition to working the land, Congolese people practiced fishing. Unfortunately, starting in the 1500s, the Portuguese came and started enslaving the Congolese to work in their colonies. This was not so good for the economy of the Kingdom of Congo. The Congolese believed in the ancestor worship and polytheism. When the Portuguese came, many of the Congolese converted to Christianity. However, it was mostly the rich who converted to Christianity because they were the people who had to directly trade and interact with the Portuguese, while others probably kept their older forms of religion. The Kingdom of Congo was ruled by a king who gained power through hereditary dynasty. The king was referred to as the Manny Congo. He did not have a standing army to help him rule, but he did split the kingdom up into six provinces, which were ruled by a hereditary chief chosen by the king. This helped the king rule so he could have appointees help him rule the large kingdom. Neighboring states feared the Manny Congo and paid them money to prevent the Congolese from attacking them. This demonstrates the great power in the region. Unfortunately, the Manny Congo started to lose power when the Portuguese came. Their relationship started by each other treating each other as equals. However, starting in the 1500s, the Portuguese started taking advantage of their relationship. In 1665, the Portuguese invaded the Congo and defeated the Manny Congo and its forces, resulting in the kingdom ending. I hope you learned something about Congo. I know that I did. But sadly, now it's time to go.